We continue now at the top of Daf Tazayin Amid Beis and Maseches Baba Basra. This is Baba Basra Daf 16b. The Gemara is continuing to darshan the Pesukim by Eov. Hakadosh Baruch Hu says to Eov that the wild goat, when it's ready, lo ledes to give birth. Ola lerosh shahar, it goes to the top of the mountain. Kadei sheyipol mimena, so that the offspring end up falling from it v'yamas and it will die. Again, the Gemara said in the previous summit that the goat is cruel towards its offspring. And vaani and I, Hakadosh Baruch Hu, mazmin lo nesher shemekavlo bichnafav. I have an eagle come and. And the eagle receives the offspring with his wings. Umanichol lefanan places it before her. Vil mole makdim rega echad umesacher rega echad. If it comes a moment too early, a moment too late, miad meis immediately it will die. Bein rega le rega lo neschalifli between one moment and another. I don't get confused. Bein eov lo oyev neschalifli. Do you think I'm going to get confused between the enemy and eov? Again, this is a response to eov. And similarly, the pasuk says cholel ayolos tishmor. Can you mark when the hinds calve? And that also refers to a similar idea, Ayola Zu, Rach Motzar, this Ayola, this hind, it has a small womb. Beshosha Koraz Laledis, when it's bending down, crouching down to give birth. Ani Mazman Lo Darkon Shemakisha, Bebeis Arechem, I prepare that a snake comes and bites the area of the womb. O Misrapa Mimolada, and that allows it to loosen, it gives birth. Vil Mole Makdim Rega Echor, O Maacher Rega Echor, if it happened a moment too early, a moment too late, Miad Mesa immediately would it would die. Bein rega le rega lo neschalifli. There's no confusion between one moment and another. Bein eov lo oyev neschalifli. Do you think I'm going to be confused between eov and the enemy? And the Gemara continues. The pasuk says by eov, eov lo bedas yedaber udvarav lo bahaskil. That eov, when he spoke, he spoke without the proper knowledge. And we'll read with the parentheses. Some take it out. Uchsiv. It's also written kilo dibartem elai nechona kaavdi eov that you haven't spoken to me properly like my servant eov. That pasuk seems to imply that eov did speak properly. Properly. And so the Gemara says, Amar Rava, Rava says, Mikan shein adam nitvas b'shas tzaru. You see from that first pasuk that a person is not punished for the way he speaks in a moment of pain. And Rashi explains, Shein adam nitvas l'hischayiv. A person is not considered to be chayiv al shumedaber kasha if he speaks in a harsh manner. Machmas tzar because of pain, v'yisurin and afflictions. To kamar lo bedas yedaber. Because what does the pasuk say? It says he spoke lo bedas, not with proper knowledge. Lo amar bereshi yedaber. It doesn't say that he spoke with wickedness. It says he did it without knowledge, and therefore you see he's not held accountable since he was in pain. And the Gemara continues, the Pasuk says, By Eov, Ayishmu Shloshes Reye Eov, Eskol Haroah Hazos Haboah Olav, the friends of Eov, the three friends of Eov, they heard of all the bad that befell him. And they each came from their place, the three individuals, Alifas, Bildad, and Sofar. They came, they made an appointment together, they came together. They came to console him. And the Gemara says, What does it mean that they made this appointment together, they came together? Rav Yehuda says that Rav says, that teaches that they all came in the same gate. And it was also taught that there were 300 parsa between them. They were very far away from one another, yet they all came at the same time. And the Gemara says, Well, how did they know that something had happened to Eov? There are those that say they had a crown that gave some kind of a sign when something bad was happening. There are others that say they had these trees. And once they withered, that's how they knew that something was wrong with their friend. And Rashi explains, Klilei Havel, who they had these crowns, Kesarim, again crowns, Uvichol Keser, Shalosha Partsu, from each crown, had three faces, Vishes Shemo Mechokek Al Partsu, from each one, the name of the person was written on the face, Uchashabo Yisur, and Alechon Mehen, and when you have afflictions would come on one of them, Partsu, from Mishtan, and then the face would change, Vechen Ilani, the same idea by the trees. And the Gemara continues, Amar Rava, Rava says, Hainu damri inchi, that's what people say, O chavra kechavre de Eov, either have friends like the friends of Eov, O misusa, or it's better to have death. And the Gemara continues, the Pasuk says in Sefer Bereshis, Vahiki hechel ha'adam l'arov al paneho ha'adam, it was when man started to increase on the earth, uvanos yuldu lahem, and they had daughters. Rabbi Yochanan, Amar Rabbi Yochanan says, Revia ba la'olam, by having these daughters, these daughters caused there to be increase in the world, there was an increase in children. Reish Lakish, Amar Reish Lakish says, no, meriva ba la'olam, these daughters caused that there was strife in the world, there was now fighting over these daughters. Amar le Reish Lakish le Rabbi Yochanan, Reish Lakish said to Rabbi Yochanan, ledidach da'amrit revi'a, 
Mevia Bala Olam. According to you, that you say there was an increase in the world, that it was a good thing that there were these daughters. So Mevne Malo Nichvalu Benosav Shal Eov. We know that Eov, he got paid back double. Why didn't he have double the amount of daughters? Amar Lo, he said to him, Nihidalo Nichvalu B'Shem was granted that they didn't double in name, meaning in quantity. He didn't have double the amount of daughters. Aval Nichvalu Biofi, but they did double in terms of their beauty. Tehsev, as it's written in the Pasuk, Vahilo Shevena Bonim, Veshalosh Bonos, it says he had seven sons and three daughters. Vayikra Shem Achas Yemima, Veshem Hashem is Ketsia, Veshem Hashlish is Karen Hafuch. He called the first one Yemima, the second one Ketsia, and the third one Karen Hafuch. And the Gemara explains that each of these names is a reference to their beauty. Yemima Shahisa Doma Liyom, Yemima, because she was similar to the day. Ketsia Shahaya Recha Nodev Ketsia, she was called Ketsia because her smell was beautiful like Ketsia. Ketsia is a kind of tree. And Karen Hafuch Amri Dever of Shila, Karen Hafuch, they say in the Yeshiva of Rabbi Sheila, Shadoma Lakarna de Keresh. She was similar to the horn of this animal called the Keresh. That was a beautiful horn. But they laughed at this explanation in the West and they said, Karna de Keresh Lakusi, to look like the horn of a Keresh, that's actually a bad thing. Elamar of Chista, rather, of Chista says, Kechurka Madarishka, she was like the garden saffron, Bemine in its species, Shanemar, it says, Kisikri Bafuch. We use the word Bafuch to mean when a person is adorning themselves, let's say they put makeup on their eyes, and the same idea over here, the garden saffron is something that is considered to be the best of its kind, and that's a reference to this woman's beauty. And the Gemara continues, Rabbi Shimon Berebi is Yalida Le Berata, Rabbi Shimon Berebi, he had a daughter, he was upset about this, that he had a daughter, not a son, so his father said to him, it's not a bad thing, propagation now comes to the world, this causes an increase in children, when you have daughters, Bar Kapara said to him, Tanchumen shel hevel nichamech avuch. Your father is giving you giving you consolation that's really nothing. It's worthless. The Tanya, as we learned in a brayza, ef shel yolam below zecharim of alone kevos. The world can't continue without males and without females. There's no difference if it's a male or a female in terms of the continuation of the species. Ela ashrei lemi shabon of zecharim. Rather fortunate is the one who has males. Oy lo lemi shabon of nekevos. And woe is to the person who has females. Ef shel yolam below bosim of alone borsi. Similarly. The world can't exist without a bosom as somebody who sells spices that smell good. And Borsi is a tanner. He deals with things that smell bad. Ashrei mishum naso busmi, oy lamishum naso borsi. Fortunate is the person who deals with the sweet-smelling spices. And woe is to the person who is the tanner who deals with things that smell bad. And the Gemara continues, Kitanoi, it's a machlokis tanoim in terms of having a daughter. The Pasuk says, Vashem beirach es Avraham bakol. It says that Hashem blessed Avraham with everything. My bakol, what does it mean he was blessed with everything? Rabbi Meir omer shalohai salobas. Rabbi Meir says it means he was blessed that he did not have a daughter. Rabbi Yehud omer shalohai salobas. Rabbi Yehud says he was blessed that he did have a daughter. Acherim omer, others say, Bas hai saloli Avraham, uvakol shema. There was a daughter that Avraham had, and her name was bakol. Rabbi Lazar hamodoy omer, it's dagninus hai sabalibo shalav. Avram Avinu, Rabbi Lazar Hamodai says that Avram Avinu had a certain level of knowledge of astrology. Shakal Malche Mizrach Umayrev Mashkim Lepischo, that all of the kings of the east and the west they awakened to his door, they went to him for advice. That's what it means. He was blessed with everything. He had this knowledge. Rabbi Shimon Ben Yochai, Omer Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai says, Evan Tova Haisa Tuluya Bitzavaro Shal Avram Avinu. There was a good stone that was hanging from the neck of Avram Avinu. Shakal Chola Haroa Oso that any sick person who saw it Miad Misrapi he was a Immediately healed. And when Avram Avinu departed the world when he died, hung this stone by the sun. Amar Abaya Abaya said, "Hainu de That's what people say. Idli Yuma as the day progresses, meaning from the sun, Idli Katsira. So there's fewer amounts of people that are sick. Again, the sun has a certain healing power. And the Gemara continues, Davar Acher, another explanation, what does it mean that Avram was blessed by Kol? Shalom Morad Esav B'yomav, that Esav did not rebel while Avram was alive. Davar Acher, another explanation, Sha'asa Yishmol, Teshuvah B'yomav, that Yishmol did Teshuvah while Avram was alive. Shalom Morad Esav B'yomav, Menol, and how do we know that Esav did not rebel while Avram was alive? Tachsiv, because it's written in the Pasuk, Vayavo Esav Min Hasad of Hu'ayef, it says that Esav came from the field and he was tired. This was the episode where Esav rebelled. Vitan, and it was taught 
brought Oso Hayom Nifter Avram Avinu that very day Avram Avinu died. Viyasa Yaakov Avinu Tavshil Shel Adoshim and Yaakov Avinu made the cooked lentils Lenachem Mes Yitzchak Aviv in order to console Yitzchak his father. Umayishna Shel Adoshim. Now why did he give lentils specifically? Amri B'Ma'arava Mishmei De Rabba Bar Mori. They say in the West in the name of Rabba Bar Mori. Ma Adosha Zu Ein Lopez. Just like a lentil has no mouth, it's closed. A Avil Ein Lopez. So to an Avil has no mouth. Davarach another explanation. Ma Adosha Zu Megalgelis. Just like an Adosha is round. Af Avelus Megalgelis. So to Avelus is something that circles around. It goes to everyone. Um Mechazeres Al Bayolim. It returns to those in the world. And the Gemara says, My Beinai. What's the difference between the two explanations of the lentil? One that it doesn't have a mouth. The other that it's round. Ika Beinai. The difference is Lenachume Bevei. Let's say you want to console with eggs. So eggs are not exactly round, but they are closed and they don't have a mouth. And the Gemara continues, Amar Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan says, Chamesh Averos Avar Oso Rasha Ba'oso Hayom, that Rasha Esav, he committed five sins on that day that Avram died. Baal Narem Rasa he had relations with a young girl who was betrothed. V'haragas HaNefesh, he killed the person. V'kafar Be'ikr, he denied the existence of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. V'kafar Be'tchias HaMesim, he denied HaTchias HaMesim, the resurrection of the dead. V'shotas HaBechorin, he despised the birthright. Baal Narem Rasa how do we know that he had relations with an Arem Rasa? it's written over here, Vayavo Esav min Hasada, it says he came from the field. Uchsif Asim, and it says over there by the Nara Hamorasa, it says Kiba Sada Mitzah, uses a similar kind of language. Haragas Hanefesh, how do we know he killed the person? Ksiv Hacha Oyef, it says over here, he was tired. Uchsif Asim, and it says over there, it's written in Sefer Yirmiyahu. Oyna Li Ki Ayefa Nafshi Lahargim, it talks about Hargim, uses the same language of Oyef, the idea again being it's a reference to murder. The Kafar Be'ikr, and he denied the existence of Akadish Barchu. Ksiv Hacha, it's written over here, Lama Zeli, by Ace of it uses that phrase. Uchsif Asim, and it's written over there, Zekeli Vianveo uses a similar phrase, talking about God, he denied God. The Kafar Betrias Ame, and he denied Trias Amesim, the resurrection of the dead. Tachsiv, because it's written, Hine Anochi Holech Lomus, that I'm going to die. Veshatas Abechor, and he despised the firstborn, the birthright. Tachsiv, as it's written, Vayivez, Esav es Abechor. It says that Esav despised the Bechorah. And the Gemara continues, Vishaasi Yishmal Teshuva Biyam of Menolan. From where do we know that Yishmal did Shuva? Kihad Ravina of Ravchama Barbuzi. It's like the incident with Ravina and Ravchama Barbuzi. Havayasvi Kami de Rava. They were sitting before Rava. The Kamanam named Rava and Rava was dozing. Amrle Ravina of Ravchama Barbuzi. Ravina said to Ravchama Barbuzi, Vaday Dam Risu Kalmisa Shiyesh Bog Gevia. Zui Misasan Shal Tzadikim. Is it true what is said that any time it says in the Torah death and it uses the word Gevia, that means the death of a Tzadik? Amrle in. He said, yes, it's true, that's what it means. So the Gemara says, Vahador Hamavl, but he asked him, what about the generation of the flood? It uses that term, and that certainly was not the death of Tzadikim. Amar Lehi said back to him, Anon Gevia Vasifa Kamrinon. It has to use both the word Gevia and Asifa. Then you know it's the death of a Tzadik. But the Gemara still says, Va Yishmal, but what about Yishmal? Tehsiv Bey Gevia Vasifa. It says, By Yishmal Gevia Vasifa. Are we saying that he's a Tzadik? Adahachi, while they were having this conversation in the meantime, Isar Buhu Rava Rava woke up. Amar Lehi said to them, Dardiki my children, Hachi Amar Rabbi Yochanan, this is what Rabbi Yochanan says, Yishmol Asa Teshuva Bechai Aviv, Yishmol did Shuva while his father was alive, Shenemar as it says, Vayikbro Oso Yitzchak V'Yishmol Bonav, it says Yitzchak and Yishmol, his children, buried him, Yitzchak went first, it means that Yishmol allowed Yitzchak to go first, and that shows that Yishmol did Teshuva. But the Gemara says, V'dil Maderech Chachmasan Kachashivlu, maybe the Torah is just listing them in order of their wisdom, who says that Yishmol really gave that respect to Yitzchak, but the Gemara says, no, Elameata, but according to that, if it has to do with Derech HaChmason, and it's just how the Torah is listing it, so why does the Torah not do the same thing by Esav? It says, Vayikbro, so Esav, the Yaakov Bonav, it says that Esav and Yaakov buried him. My time, Why doesn't the Torah, why doesn't the Torah mention their names according to their wisdom and put Yaakov first? Elami the Akdame, rather what it is is as follows. Since his name is coming first, meaning since Yitzchak's name comes before Yishmal, Adbure Adbure means that he showed him respect as his leader. Umid the Adbure, and from the fact that Yishmal made Yitzchak his leader, Shmami not Teshuva Avad Biyamav, you see that Yishmal did do Teshuva in his days, he did Teshuva while his father was alive. And the Gemara continues, Tanu Rabban and the rabbis taught, Shlosha Hitiman HaKadosh Baruch Hu Ba'olam Hazeh, there are three, in the, there are three that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave them a taste in this world of Olam Haba, and we will continue with this discussion in the next video on Daf Yud Zayin Amud Aleph.